Last night we took Freya out of the this 75 gallon tank and we put her into the pond. And then, and she's doing really good by the way. Um, then I decided that um, Elsa, my clown knife fish, uh, wasn't really doing that great in my 150. And I felt that she would do a lot better in the 75 gallon. She was just hiding in a cave and I never saw her eat or come out to eat. So we put her, uh, after we put Freya in the pond, we put Elsa into the 75. And she's doing pretty good in here. I figured she would have, there's a lot of fish in the 150. Uh, but there she is. Let's see if we can't get the glare off here. There she is. She's just kind of hanging out. She's swimming in uh, Freya's cave and she's become a lot more active. And there's less fish in this tank so she doesn't have to compete for food as much. And I was hoping that this would be a better thing for her so I'm really happy that we chose to do that because I just feel like I don't want my fish to like survive. I want them to thrive. I want them to be happy. I love my fish like I love my dogs. To me, they're just like water dogs. <laughs> but isn't she beautiful? When she's like moving. In the other tank, I would look at her and she was just, look, I thought she was dead a couple times, honestly. So I think we did a good thing. We made a good decision to bring her in here. And she is going to get very big someday. But for now, she's little and she's actually moving. She was in the cave earlier. So she's actually moving around and I think it's good. Like sometimes with, we you know when you're doing aquascaping and stuff, you have to know your fish and where they're happy. And sometimes you have to move them. And I think this was a good move for her. And I think it was a good move for Freya, even though I miss Freya in this tank a lot. But she's swimming in the pond and just having a blast. So, all right. I just wanted to give an update. Oh, so let it go, let it go. Just kidding. All right, bye.